Whenever we think about well control, the heavy rig equipment such as BOP or choke manifold or mud gas separator comes to our mind. While these equipment are used for well control, they are not the means for primary well control. So, what is primary well control? Primary well control is maintaining sufficient hydrostatic pressure in the well by using sufficient drilling fluid density to balance formation pressure. Important terms highlighted in the definition are formation pressure, drilling fluid density, and hydrostatic pressure. Let us discuss them in greater details. Drilling fluid density is the most important parameter for primary well control. The density depends on the type of fluid and material added to it. For example, oil-based mud can be prepared to have a density of 7.6 ppg, or specific gravity of 0.91. Fresh water has a density of 8.34 ppg, or specific gravity of 1. Drilling fluid with weighing agents such as barite can have density up to 19 ppg or 2.78 sg. Hydrostatic pressure is the total pressure exerted by the weight of the column of fluid acting on any given point in a well. Let's see an example of calculation of hydrostatic pressure. In the example we will consider a well with 12,000 feet total depth, filled with mud having 12 ppg density. TVD is the total vertical depth and is always used for the calculation of hydrostatic pressure. Hydrostatic pressure equals 0.052 times mud density and ppg, times depth in foot. Hydrostatic pressure at the bottom of the well with 0.052 times 12 times, 12,000 feet which is equals 7,488 pounds per square inch. Hydrostatic pressure of 9 5 8 inch casing shoe is 0.052 times 12 times 8,500 feet, which is equals 5,304 pounds per square inch. How to determine drilling fluid density? How will you know if the mud density is sufficient? Geoscientists and drilling engineers typically work with a pressure profile plot, as shown in the example. The plot has pore pressure and fracture pressure curves plotted in equivalent mud weight in ppg, against depth. As you will notice, as we go deeper, the pressure increases. Therefore drilling fluid density to be used shall also increase. The plot is used to plan the mud weight to drill the well, or a particular section of a well. There are several criterias for selection of mud properties. But the main criteria is that mud density should be more than the pore pressure, but less than fracture pressure. If drilling fluid density is lower than the pore pressure, a kick can occur. Similarly, if mud density is higher than the fracture pressure, the formation may be fractured and the drilling fluids will be lost to formation. When primary well control is lost, BOPs need to be closed, and well killed with a kill fluid. Tertiary well control is required when secondary well control is not used or not applied properly, and the well is blowing out. This calls for relief wells and capping by specialists. Please subscribe to our channel to receive notifications about new videos.